You know, I was trying to like, I was trying to like duck under the camera so that you guys wouldn't see me so I could just like pop out, you know, I could just like pop out and then do my intro, but I'm too fucking tall. Jesus Christ, being tall is a burden. I hate it. But anyways, what's going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? It is your main man, JPLX24, and today we are going to be ranking every single Sonic game based off their box arts. Now, I'm not an artist. By any means, I if you ask me to draw Sonic, the best the best thing you'll get is like Sonic 2. Y'all remember that Sonic meme? That's literally how I draw Sonic, bro. I am a terrible artist. But you know who's not a terrible artist? The person who I have with me on for the stream. Introduce yourself to the people, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, everybody? I'm Saminates. My actual name is Sam, and I come more from an animation background. So I do some illustrations here and there, but my specialty is making multiple drawings move. Right, right, right. By the way, for the remainder of the stream, I'm going to be referring to him as Sam as we are IRL homies. So just keep that in yes, mind. We are. All right, Sam, how are you doing today? Before we before we get started. I'm doing pretty good. Um on one. Feel clean. Took a shower for the night, so I'm good to go. Okay. <laughs> um, and ooh, my water bottle's empty. I thought I filled that up. Better go get yourself hydrated. That might be a good idea, guys. I'll be back in like thirty seconds. Okay. While he goes fills up his water bottle, I will show you all what we are going to be doing for this tier list. Okay. So we have the rankings. We have peak artwork. We have goaded. We have eye candy. We have clean strokeage or clean stroking. I think I spelled that wrong. How do you spell stroke? Let me look it up. S T R O. Okay, it's S T R O A. Clean strokeage, and then take do a double take mid, and then more like belongs in the trash. Let me just. 
Let me just make sure I like I have the two. Okay, eye candy is A tier. Let me fix that. Eye candy A tier. Clean stro gidge. Let me make that. Okay, and then decent mid and then bold and brash. And then for this one, we also say belongs in the trash, which is perfect. Indeed, it is perfect. All right. Now, I think it's only fair we start with the very first Sonic game, that being Sonic 1. We're going to do the genesis of box arts. So, as we see, we have the, this is the American one for the United States. Sam, what do you think? To be honest, I always saw the box art for the American ones were a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. He gave Sonic a design that, you know, it still looks like him, but it doesn't fully feel like him. Really? Because I don't, I don't know. Because, like, I one thing I will say I like about this background, it, and one thing I, I like about this box art is the background. The background, the background is really well drawn. The background oh, is, nice is very, very clean. But Sonic himself, like, what's the, the mohawk, like, the ass brow, like... Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't fuck with it. And it also like I don't know if you was noticed, but you see the inconsistency inconsistency between his hair and his back. Like look at his back. Yeah. Look at his back spines and look at his head spines. Like they're they're inconsistent with one another. And I mean, it's just a lot of things where it's just like essentially Sonic is not anatom anatomically correct to how he was drawn in Japan. You know his OG design. Mm -hmm. But the backgrounds do look gorgeous. Okay, hold on. Let me just do something real quick because I feel like... Can I bring this up higher? Let me see. Hold on. I can't move it. What were you trying to do? Uh, trying to fix my lighting because I feel like it's a little bit off-center, but whatever. Uh... It's okay, bud. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I f the, the people can see me. All right, so for what are we gonna give North American Sonic One? So I think honestly, what gives it a leg up is definitely how the background was drawn, right? Um, so I'd say for the sake of that, let's put it in clean strokeage. Okay, clean strokeage. I you know I was I I, I was going uh, with that same uh, notion as well. Okay, clean right. strokeage. Next up, we have the Japanese box art. All right, so at the time this game came out, which was 1991, and people would see this, if I was like a six-year-old Japanese kid and I see this on shelves, it would definitely catch my attention. Not only that, but I actually feel like this took a, at least a background and how like they designed everything behind sonic it looks like it's very pop it's very pop it's dreams yeah it's very popping i kind of like this one honestly you know what this kind of reminds me of too hold on let me see if i could find oh my what was it called like back in the 80s that one 80s art design let me see is it is it the one with like the people oh wait can you go to, like, the second row? Oh, you already moved it. <laughs> oh, go back? Yeah, second row, fifth image. One, two. With the triangle, the circle. This one? That's exactly what it was making me think of. Okay, so they use a lot of geometric type designs. Yeah, but this isn't what I was thinking of, even though it, that's literally what it was going for. What I was thinking of is, um, oh my god. Oh, fuck. Do you remember that one, like, design that you would see on, like, soda cups or, like, plastic, uh, plastic cups where it's, like, it's white, blue, like, cyan, and purple? You know what I'm talking about? Hold on. Possibly. One 80s art design with white... Cyan and purple. This one! This one! This oh, is what it reminds me of. Yeah, yeah. This this is what the box art reminds me of. 
That's what I was looking for. And I like I it. It works. It. Definitely works. Oh, all right. So where are we going to put the Japanese? A Dixie? I... Is that what it's called? A Dixie cup? Oh, yeah. Those little cups, those little like paper cups. Oh, go figure. All right. So where are we putting Japanese? Honestly, I kind of want to put this one in eye candy. I kind of I kind of like this one. I would also put this in eye candy. All right. Also, I spelled I wrong. Oh, my God. Is it spelled wrong on this one, too? No, it is not. <clears throat> All right. I get candy. All right. And finally, last but not least, we have the European box art. Okay. I Damn, I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. This one actually goes kind of, this one goes kind of hard. This one kind of hits. <laughs> yeah, like, I love the, I love, like, Eggman in the background. I love the, the, the two flickies. And it, it, it looks like, and you can see, like, the, you know, the Japanese style, like, art design of, you know, like, with the, squ- with the squiggly lines and the straight lines and all that stuff and the shapes. You can still something... s- see the inspiration there. But this one, it just looks like, you can clearly tell that the background is just concept art. But you know, Sonic and is it, just it fully works. drawn. Yeah, it's it's this one. This one actually goes. This one goes kind of brazy. I'm not gonna lie. I would put it on a higher list. I would actually put this one at goaded. Really, honest. Personally, no. if not goaded, at the top of eye candy. Yeah, I was gonna say. I would say like at least the top of eye candy. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's goaded though. But it's it's very good. It's very good. Okay. So In Europe. Now, let's see about the, you know, the Game Gear versions. Okay, let's take a look-see. Okay, hold on. Sonic 1991. Maybe I have to look. Sonic Game Gear. Maybe I just wasn't aware. How many platforms was this released on? Everything? Uh, well, no. Oh, Sonic 1? Oh, I have no idea. It's on everything at this point. True. <laughs> okay, I can't find it online, so I'll just have to... Google. Yep. Oh, yeah, the 8 bit box art. Okay, so this. Oh, I, I found it online. There we go. I found it on the wiki. Okay, so this is the North American box art uh, for the 8 bit version. Okay, I'll, I will say I like this one a little. What the fuck is up with Eggman, though? I will say I like this one a little bit more than the American one. You know, we see Sonic. I, I, I agree. We, we see Sonic running. We get like a very beautiful background and all that stuff. I don't know what the fuck's happening with Robotnik in the back, but this one, this one goes kind of hard. I, I like this one. Let's put it. I put this one honestly. Yeah, the same spot, same spot. I'll put it higher though because uh, this one is just better. Yeah, at least we have Sonic in motion. Okay, so that was the. What about the... This is the Japanese one. Okay. Uh, you know, I like all of the enemies and then the good animals on the outside of the box art. Yeah, or, but, at the, the box art, yeah, the but at the same time, they kind of they kind of fumbled the ball with this one. I don't like this one at all. It just seems like... I it's, would say it seems a little haphazardly placed. It's a, yeah, it's a little much for my... Uh, if you ask me. But... I, 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 I don't know. I, I I ain't fucking with this one all too much. Because it's like, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, we have Robotnik, to what looks like a sprite, honestly, and then we have all the other sprites in the background, and then we also have Green Hill. That's Green Hill, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hill in the background of that, too. Yeah. So, there's a lot going on, and they just don't seem to mesh well together. Yeah, I'm not... I, I ain't really fucking with this one. I'm gonna give this. I would say it's bad, but I put it in decent. I'll be generous. I, yeah, I'd say decent. Yeah, decent is like the best one. Okay, now finally the oh the European one is the same thing. Put it in the same spot. <laughs> wait, it's so no then, different. Really. Wait, so then what? The, so wait, so then what about this one? The the Master System one. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, one. hold on. Let me look it up. Apparently, it's the same thing uh, as the American one. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Artwork. 
not logos, but you want to look at box? Oh no, okay, or... I found it. It's the one for the. Okay, I found it. Here it is. This is the one for the. Uh, uh, so apparently, the Master System, which was like the console before the Genesis, apparently they all share the same thing. Okay, so now we get to see this one, the Sega Master System. This one. It's all right. Yeah, it's it's pretty good, pretty decent. I put it in decent, but above what um, Japan had. All right, decent, decent, decent. All right, up next we have Sonic Two. We'll have we'll put. Is it Sonic Two? This is Sonic Two. Okay, perfect. Okay, oh, let me just find Sonic Two, like you know the uh, the Genesis one. You want to look at the eight bit yeah. version of the Genesis one first? We have the eight bit one up already, so let's just let's just knock that one out. All right, so Sonic Two eight bit. I think this one also came out first, if I remember correctly. Oh, you know, this is actually a pretty fun illustration. I'm not going to lie. Now, Sonic doesn't look right, but I, 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 I don't know about I don't know about his eyes, though. What the hell's going on there? It's like he has two different size pupils. Who okayed I, I this? Know. I don't know. <laughs> That's so strange. But I might knock just a few points down because they kept it. Pretty similar to how it already looked for Sonic 1 on the Game Gear. Right. Like, the layout is rather similar. The only new addition is just that we have Tails in the picture. Mm -hmm. But Tails looks very adorable. Yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm shocked that they actually managed to drop Tails really well com compared to what the fuck happened to Sonic. Like, what happened to this guy? He looks ugly. Jesus, man. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, they dropped the ball with that one. But, yeah. Okay, this one, I will give the Game Gear... Uh... Decent, yeah. Decent is like the best. However, I would, I would put it in between, um, yeah, between Game Gear and the Master System. I would focus. Okay, so like I'm gonna focus on where I'm gonna put it. Like to like, I, if I order this, we're gonna be here all day. So that's true. So let's. Okay, so that's that one, and then the Sonic Two. Oh, are these the same? Okay, so we don't have to worry about this one because this one is literally the same as the Genesis cover. So we're practically done with the game, the 8-bit version. Now, let's talk about the Genesis version. So this is the one for America. I'm not going to lie, this shit kind of goes hard. <laughs> Yo, no, no, I've, I've this shit goes crazy. This shit kind of goes hard, bro. We got Eggman looming in the background, and this was around the time where I think... What, they didn't necessarily know, like, the color of his eyes, so they just darkened it? Yeah, so, uh, I think so. It, honestly, it really works for the This cover. shit goes crazy, bro. This shit, no, 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 where is it? This one, this one is kind of, this one is eye candy. This is a banger. This is a banger. I would actually, I would actually put it in the go to category. Oh, you want to put it, okay, you know, I was going to be a little fair, but, like, you know what, if you say go to, I say go to too, because this one, this shit goes hella hard. It's simple, but like we see so the way I see, it, I, I might be thinking way too far into this, but like we see Sonic and Tails ready for their next adventure, and then just looming behind them is whatever Robotnik. I'm saying Robotnik. That's not even his name. We're seeing what Eggman has in store for. I these mean, two you're guys. technically not wrong, depending on which one you call him. True. But yeah, um, I will put it in a voted. It's a really good game cover. It would catch my attention if I was a little kid. Uh, that shit, that shit, oh, so goddamn good. Okay, now we have the Japanese. And this one, you know, honestly, I one thing I will say I like about it is I like how they connected Sonic and Tails' names like a crossword puzzle with the two eyes. It's super creative. I really like that. But This almost makes me think of a magazine cover. <laughs> That's you know what? That's exactly what I was thinking. Cause I'm like, I, it looks it reminds me of something, but I don't know what. And, and you put put the nail right on the head. It <laughs> says something at the top. It says, excuse me. Don't just sit there and waste your precious time. When you want to do something, do it right away. Do it when you can. It's the only way to live without uh to live a life without regrets. Sonic and Tails, Mega Drive cartridge, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. You know, this is actually a really solid um cover art as well. Yeah, it's very it's very simple, very clean, but I mm, I don't know, it can't it, it, it I'm sorry, it's just not 
It's nothing no, compared to this. This okay, I'm gonna give this one like a clean strokeage though, I will admit. It is pretty All nice. Right, fair, fair. Okay, up next we have the Okay, so this was practically the same. So we're is there Yeah. Is there another one that I'm missing? Let me just double check. Any like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 ones that I'm missing? Not that I'm seeing. Nope. All right. Well, let's move on to Sonic 3. Sonic 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Yeah, because like, the, you know, the different box. Okay. So first up, we have Sonic the Hedgehog 3 for the American version. And honestly, I love the background of this one. I even love like how you see like this little like you clearly see someone here in the corner, but you don't know who it is. Yeah, I love that little hint for knuckles. Mm hmm. I love the homage to like the first boss that you fight. Uh, I think in Sonic Three, I'd have to play the game. I don't remember all these classic Sonic bosses, but this one is nice. It's 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 good. It's good. What you think? There's something about it I don't think I like as much. <laughs> it might just be because I have given. Um, I guess the United States a little bit of a pass in terms of not getting the characters perfectly on model, but they got the tails a little bit off too, and I, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> so where we where I do like the logo. The logo is hella nice in this one. No, it absolutely is. I mean, the background and the logo and all that stuff looks. Very good. No, okay, because let's talk. Because whoever decided to change the logo from orange and blue to blue to yellow, thank you, because that shit goes infinitely harder. It also just pops out more. Yeah, I like, would, I would put this at like top of clean stroke strokeage. Top of clean. Personally. I was thinking just like somewhere run in the middle. Honestly, that's fine. Yeah, because like clean stroke. Yeah, I think it belongs there. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Now we have the Japanese one. The most famous hedgehog in the world. Mega Drive cartridge. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Sonic Team presents. Alright, so they've kept this very, very poppy, cool-looking design for all three installments. I actually did not I like know the, that. I, I, I gotta respect the consistency, though. Yeah. I don't know if I have too much to say on this, Neither. other than the fact that it's very clean. Uh, yeah, I honestly. actually think the Sonic 2 one is better, though. Compared to... Honest... Mm, I think... Because, like, if we're looking... I'm just going to place it here so we can look at all three of them. I honestly want to say that my, my favorite one is the, the Sonic 1 version. Mmm... Because, like, at least with the Sonic... Because at least with... Because, like, the Sonic 2 one, they got rid of all the, like, the, the squiggly lines. At least in Sonic 3, they brought it back. Right, right, right. But uh, Sonic 2 is nowhere to be seen. But, you know, that doesn't bother me too much because the way they set up the composition for the Sonic 2 cover art, I think it works very well. <clears throat> right. Personally, it's my favorite, but I think, like, objectively, I think... What probably screams Sonic the best is the Sonic 1 cover art. Right. My bias might be putting 2 above 3. Not gonna lie. Okay. Um, so we'll just keep this one in clean strokers, because it just seems to be, like, very run in the middle. Yeah. It's good, but nothing amazing. And finally, we have whatever the hell this abomination is. See now here's my okay so here's my okay no no okay so here's my issue <laughs> one they're using a different logo than the one that's in the official ones like you know they have it right in Japan they have it right in America what the fuck is going on with Europe that's one for second of all this motherfucker's holding up four fingers instead of three what is wrong with him third of all what the hell's wrong with Knuckles why does he look like a gremlin here what is his what what is his problem this one is ass There's something about there's something about the perspective of this one that just doesn't look this, right. This one is ass. I'm not gonna. This one is garbage. <laughs> this one. This one. I'm. I'm willing to Golden put it. I'm. Yeah. I'm, this one is ugly as hell. I was trying to see if I could find something nice on it. No. I. Uh, I don't think don't, so. Don't. Don't redeem it. it. It's some. It's some dog cheese. <laughs> Finally, we have Sonic and Knuckles. I think they're all the same. Yep, they're all the same. Oh, that, well, oh I mean, that they're, makes it easy. They're slightly different. The only thing that's different is just like the backup, but the overall like logo and design 
is pretty much the same. And I will not lie, this shit is so goddamn good. This shit is some fire, bro. This is fucking incredible. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. I mean, it was just, it was a part two to, it was just an extension of the cartridge to the first one because the game was too big for them to fit it on one. And not to, and, and, and what I also really love is I love the fucking, like, just the symbol that they use with the, with like Sonic and Knuckles connecting. You see, like, how there's like the little connecting parts with Sonic and Knuckles? Yeah. This it's shit. It's a really good silhouette. Oh, this, this is such, it's such a simple design, but it works so well. You know what? Where is it? Put this shit. Put this shit in peak. Put this shit in peak. (laughs) That's simplicity sells, and this sure as fuck sold me, bro. Yeah, I don't disagree. That's definitely a peak cover art. God damn, that's so good. Okay, now. That's our first peak on the list. We could do let's do Sonic CD. I don't think we really need to rank the like the collection games. Like actually, Mega Collection? Yeah, actually no, we could do that, but actually okay, fuck. Damn, that's a good point. Oh, do, will not be ranked. Do we wanna rank the like the Sonic and Knuckles like collections? I don't think it's necessary. I, I you know what? I agree. So will not be ranked. I don't know what color to make this, though. Oh, there um, we go. Perfect. Dark gray. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, so now we have Sonic CD. Let me just look it up online. Sonic CD. Tutu Sonic Warrior. Tutu right, so Sonic Warrior. The hell was that me? No. That was me, by accident. My bad. All right, so we have the American box art. And honestly, this one isn't so bad. It's pretty clean. It's a nice background. I love like the story, like the like the galaxy, like in the background. Sonic destroying like the things in the special stage of Metal Sonic. Why does Metal Sonic look so much better than regular Sonic? That's my issue. I mean, he's meant to be like the you know the perfect version, quote unquote. Yeah, but it's like you take the time to like accurately draw metal sonic like how the like the japanese developers wanted but you can't you couldn't do it for sonic just because it was too iconic and consistent give me a fucking break oh that's facts that's facts <laughs> like that's some fuck that's some fucked up shit but no this one is this one is not that bad i actually kind of like this um box art. It, it's good i also even love how he's grabbing the time stone there's a lot that they give away, not not in a bad way, but like there's a lot that they show you of how the game's gonna be like in the cover art, and I think that's a job well done. While this is only one stage out of I think what the eight in the game, I have there's no idea how many there are. I think there's eight, but yeah, kind of gives you an idea of like, oh, this is probably gonna be Sonic's main enemy, and we're gonna meet him eventually. So American, you get banger, you get. Banger. I will put it, at, yeah. I would put it at eye candy. You get eye candy. It's pretty good, pretty good. Next up, we have the Japanese one. Oh, I, I love this I've image. I've always loved the this Japanese This image cover is, art, oh, it's so good. This is like... This is such this is like, what, a fire image. Is this not like one of their first 3D renders that they did for a game? Or was this a 2D art? It doesn't seem like it was 2D art. It looks like it's 2D art. I don't know. To me, it does. Needless to say, it's simple, but it works. It looks like they're about to duke it out in a boxing match. It's oh, it's so good. It's so good. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Put it in peak. Put it in peak. Put it in peak. I just I love this image so much of just Metal Sonic and regular Sonic. Just like oh, absolutely incredible. Up next. Okay, this oh, one this is really good. Too. This one is also not that bad. It's a little too close for my person because you don't get to see like the whole art like fully highlighted. But this one, this this one is really nice. I think it kind of works in the sense of like similar to the last one, but I'm thinking more of like a fighting game where they will be like, you know, Sonic versus Metal Sonic. That's it, yeah. They will be- I also really like the, the Sonic character's heads like really close. I also really like the Sonic CD logo here, how they flipped it up compared to like you know. uh you know, this is Sonic the Hedgehog CD, and then this one's just called Sonic CD. I also really, I like this one. I would at least put this one in eye candy. No, this one is really good. Are you kidding me? 
Yeah, this actually honestly, I would say it's even goaded. I don't disagree. Okay, so now that we got these games out the way, what the hell is next? Should we go um, in chronological order or should we go by game releases? Because I believe after CD, we there's like, you know, a bunch of Game Gear games that we could talk about. Or should we just jump true. ship to the, you know, the mainline games like Sonic Adventure? I would say, I guess for the sake of what people would already know, mainline games would probably make more sense. All right, let me just no, put just them, like, just like put Knuckles them Chaotix or anything like that. Uh, Knuckles Chaotix, I, I want to say like, it's kind of a spinoff because you know it doesn't have Sonic's name in the title, but at the same That's time, it true. does like have a lot of characters that are introduced, you know, later on and are still a thing to this day. You know, we'll add it. We'll add it. We'll add it. Why not? We'll add like we'll add the necessary spinoffs. You know what I mean? We'll add the necessary spinoffs. <laughs> okay, so like Knuckles Chaotix, uh, Sonic Adventure. Where's Adventure Two? Okay, and then we'll just like and then we'll just like go down the list. All right. So up next we have Knuckles Chaotix. Knuckles, not the echidna. Chaotix. There we go. All right. So the American box art. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of don't like this one. This one is all right. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, especially Vector too. Like Vector looks weird. Yeah, Vector, like classic Vector. Like look at him. He looks disgusting. They redesigned him for the better. Dang, yeah, thank God too. But my Vector, when he first started out, Jesus, he looked ugly. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, oh man, I, I ain't fuck. I ain't fucking with this one at all. I'll give him mid. Yeah, I think mid is good. At least compositionally, looks better than whatever that was for something like three. And then we have the Japanese, or not the Japanese, the, the European. Honestly, this is just the same thing. Looks the the only thing that, flip. the only thing that, yeah, it's flipped, but it also has like all the like relevant characters that you'll run into. And honestly, I feel like this one just makes it worse. Too much going on. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Like now there's just too much shit happening on the screen. Ugh, man, UK fucking, this one gets mid too. <laughs> And finally, man, we have oh the man. the Japanese. Okay, this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now, Japanese cooked with this, this one. one is kind of clean. They cook with this one. They show you all the playable characters. Oh my god, this one is so nice. Now, I would say this is just more of a. It's a small nitpick. It's really not that serious. I know this introduces Team Chaotix. But I do think since it is a Knuckles spinoff, he should probably take more of the forefront for this cover art. Well, I think the that reason great. I think the reason because I think the reason why it's shaped like this is because these are all the selectable characters you can like play as. And plus, you don't even and look. You don't even see Knuckles' name on the thing. They just called it Chaotix in um, Japan. Th th there's no Knuckles. You see that? Ah, uh, yeah, you have a point. Which probably means. That's most likely what they intended in the first yeah, place. Yeah, it's just like a whole, the, like the, all of them are just like a group setting. Which, honestly, if that's the case, this works exceptionally. If it's just called Chaotix in Japan, this is an amazing box art. This one is really, 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 really good. Fucking Definitely. Put this one... Uh, eye candy. Eye candy. Okay, eye candy for sure. Yeah. That that one goes insanely hard. All right, are there any other necessary spinoffs that we should cover? Oh, Sonic 3D Blast! I was going to say, do you want to do 3D Blast? Absolutely. Yeah. That one's a given. Okay. So now we have a Sonic a 3D Blast. Now, I don't know what I saw in one of those covers, but Sonic looked ugly. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about the... Uh, this is the American one, huh? I wanted, I thought this was the European one, but honestly, this, the American they one... They got him right! Yeah, right? Like, they got him right for once! Thank the Lord! Holy shit, he looks great! It's, it kind of looks similar, it kind of looks similar to the, um, the Sonic CD one. Like, he's, like, almost doing the exact same pose, and I really like this. Actually, yeah. if now I'm looking at it, this whole background is 3D as well. It's all rendered nicely for when it came out. Yeah, nicely rendered, but well, I don't know what the fuck's going on in the background. But Sonic himself looks great. I'm gonna it give is this an eye candy cover. I'm gonna give this one. Yeah, 
Eye candy for sure is very nice. Up next, we have the Japanese. Oh. This is what they did for 3D Blast? Yeah, honest. This is kind of fire. It makes him look like a DJ. (laughs) Yeah, this one is actually kind of... I don't know what... There's, like, some, like, faint... I don't know if you can see, but there's, like, some little... I think it... If you look closely, it's just saying rescue a whole bunch. Mm, It's saying, like... It it says rescue, rescue, rescue. I don't know why the fuck they decided to do it, but honestly, this one... Yeah, this one is kind of popping. I enjoy this one. Me too. It it definitely gives... What was I going to say? From what we know, Sonic's personality, this definitely brings it out more than um, what we had for the U.S. version. For sure. Oh, that's supposed they took it from. Okay. Yep, right here. Got it. I want to see some inspiration for where they got Sonic Adventure for. Anyway. <laughs> I think the only thing I will... I feel like the... I feel like this one... I like this one just a little bit better. I will not lie. I understand that. Also, I stared at it for too long, and now I realize his pupil should not be doing that at all. Yeah, that's how we used to wink back in the day. I think it was because they based it off of Mickey Mouse. I don't know if Mickey Mouse winks that way as well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Where, wait, where's Sonic 3D Blast? Is it even on here? Is the Japanese one? Oh, no, no, there it is. There it is. There it is. I... Oh, okay. Almost had a heart attack. Okay. So how clean strokeage? Okay, clean strokeage. Also, I just noticed that apparently, according to the, because apparently, according to the title, like, because this game came out on the Sega Saturn and the Genesis, and according to that, there's different, like, box arts? Mm. Well, let's focus on the Saturn ones first. So, you know, the Saturn ones, and now we have Jesus Christ! Yeah, just put that in. Yeah, you know. Put that in Golden Dash. More like belongs in the trash. So what do we do about the Genesis one? Where? Right here. What does the Genesis one look like? Oh, that one. If you want, it, if you want me to, uh, hold I on. Know. Sonic looks weird. <laughs> like the whole cover art just looks a little funky and not in a good way. Sonic 3D Blast on the Genesis. This is the best I could do. That's okay, but I don't like it. You don't or you do? I don't. Really? I don't think this one is terrible. I put it in mid. All right, well, mid it is. <laughs> All right, let me see if there's any other necessary spin offs that we can cover. Hmm. What came out before Oops. Sonic Adventure that we could do? Nothing that I see here. So, oh, actually, no, 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 no. We need to cut. Co- we need to cover. We need to cover two games in particular. We need to cover two games in particular before we move on. I need to find them real quick. Where is it? Oh, Sonic R. It's Sonic. Uh, yeah, we need to cover Sonic R and then Sonic. Actually, no, this one came after. So, okay, so we need to cover Sonic R. Let's see. Does Sonic R have any like distinctions? Between box arts, basically the same. It's yeah, it's pretty much all the same thing. That that would explain why there's only one on the. What the fuck is up with Robotnik? <laughs> Bro looks funny, but honestly, this one is this one it's is a, nice. it's a solid box art. Yeah, this one is nice. I really, I also really like the 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 tick that they did with the Japanese cover, race for the goal with Sonic and his pals, and then you know the Jap the the European. It's the same thing basically. Yeah, I, I like this one. I, I like this one. I'm gonna give it clean strokeage. I agree. Is there any other Sonic R's? Let me see. I, I don't think so. Okay, so they only decide to go with one. All right. Now we I saw can... something that said Sonic Blast. Was that another 3D Blast cover? No, that's a whole different game. That's like a Game Gear one. And honestly, I don't feel like ranking it at the moment. We'll rank it later. <laughs> nah, just put it in will not be ranked. Oh, well. Will not be ranked. And now we can talk about Sonic Adventure. All right. Thunder, rain, and lightning. I mean, do, 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 we, do, we, do we even have to say anything? 
Do we nah, even have? Peacock, yeah, like do we it, even have to? Say, do we even have to say anything, bro? Do we even have this to say anything? This came out. This came out at a time when Sonic had a major redesign, and whoever the <clears> character <throat> designer was for Sonic Adventure in Two did an exceptional job. Literally, it's really that simple. Yo. I don't, I don't know how he did it, but my God, bro, this shit is is like probably one of my favorite box arts in all of gaming. I will not lie, is that hey, I good? Get it. Not only that, but like they got Sonic to somehow fit the shape of a disc. I mean, he so did, like he, I, I, I don't know. It makes sense. He can Sorry, turn what? into a ball. Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking like. Say you open the game and you have, you know, the disc and, like, you see Sonic on it like that. I don't know if they actually planned it out that way, but that would look really cool. Whoever, yeah. I don't know. Whether it was intentional or not, it's fucking in- incredible, so. Yeah, this, don't have much more to say on that. This this is really good. All right, now we have Sonic Adventure DLX. Can I find it on, like, the gallery part? Let's see. That we had to, like, scroll very far. Sonic Adventure... Maybe box artwork? Here we go. Nope. Nope, I have to fucking... Let's see. Sonic Adventure DX. Director's Cut. Okay, here we go. Oh, they have different box arts depending on the release. Let's look at the game people, because that's the one on the screen. Alright, what do we think of this one? I don't think it's bad. It actually shows kind of like how these guys would look if they were pre-rendered versus I, the 2D. I will say, I don't know but, if I, I don't know if I fuck with Sonic's like like rendering. I don't know if I fuck with his rendering this one. He looks a little much, if that's the word. And that's a PC one, right? Or do yeah. you mean just in general? I mean just the terms of the model itself. I just did this one because it's a cleaner image. It's not terrible, though. It's not. But, I mean, I, I mean, first of all, I think the logo is a huge downgrade. Because, like, if we look at the logos real quick for Sonic... Like, look at Adventure 1 and then DX. That, that That's a huge downgrade, if you ask me. I would have to agree. I love how, like, they... For the Sonic Adventure 1, they had, like, the sky into the water. Like, oh, just <laughs> beautiful. And this one is just, like, just gradients. And, you know, background colors. and I mean, it's not terrible, but just... I don't know. I, I'll give it decent. Yeah. Decent. Alright, now we have Sonic Pocket Adventure. Oh yeah, that does exist. Sonic Pocket. You ever played this game, by the way? Nope. It's pretty good, I recommend. All right, what do we think about this? It's simple. Yeah, it's short. I think it's short, sweet, and to the point. Yeah. You just got like you I got think, Sonic's iconic grin. Oh, we even see where the we even see where the image uh, inspiration took place from. Look at this. Damn, so Sonic! Funny. Sonic used <laughs> to be Sonic used to be so curvy back then. Yeah, they really like really push those curved lines. Yeah, he was so curvy back then. They're like really emphasizing Yeah, they were like really emphasizing the fact that like he could just like turn into a ball. Which I will say for like artwork, it you know, for like, you know, 2D artwork, it looks really, really nice. But like this probably is like next to impossible when you like making a render of him. Making him this that squirmy and like squash and stretchy. I don't think it would work. Yeah, I just don't think it would look good with 3D. And 2D, you can absolutely keep it like this. Like 2D, he looks great. In terms of this box art, though, this one is just this one's decent. Not, nothing wrong with it. I like it. Yeah. I also really like the Nike smile he has. That's that's great. <laughs> Nike smile. Yeah, look at it. That's what everybody I calls it. He's spitting. He's spitting. Up next, we have Sonic Adventure Two. What we think of this? I would put it, interestingly enough, 
I'm not putting it at peak. I would put it at goaded. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna put it in peak, honestly. But I do really like this. I love the background, especially. Super good. It's very nice. All right, so we agree that it's goaded. Hundred percent. All right, very fair. Now, what about Sonic Adventure Two Brattle? Let me just look it up. S A Two Battle. Yep, there we go. Now, what do you think of Sonic Adventure Two Battle? Look at this. This is actually a really good box. <laughs> it, it, it is quite nice. It is quite nice. I also really like. I also really like Sonic's like surfer dude pose, like with his hands. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck Tails. I don't know what the fuck Tails is doing. Okay, like everybody, I swear everybody looks good on this like box art, except like why is he looks off to me? Who? Tails. Tails. Everybody else. I think it's just. Everybody else looks fine, in my personal opinion. I think it's because he's not necessarily doing a pose. He's kind of just walking. It's like he's gonna run. It's like he's gonna run at Eggman, or like he's on his way to like fuck. I don't know. It just he just don't look good. But overall, this is a very balanced box art. Yeah, this one like this everybody fire. is placed evenly, and like even the chows are all placed like evenly. It's so good. It's very can, good. No, no, no. You know what's so great? You can see and like look at the way the chow are positioned too. Like you know the the hero chow on the hero side, the dark chow on the dark, and the neutral chow literally right smack dab 